Changing out the injector orifices on a BC model is pretty easy. The best thing to do is to take off the front of the unit. This is a BC-5. And generally speaking, you can screw these right out. If not, you can use a uh, wrench to, uh, oops, excuse me, I'm using my phone to try to do this, to loosen these and then uh, screw them out. If for some reason the injector orifice stays in the bottom, a number 12 metric uh, wrench will take that out. You'll now need to remove the uh, injector orifices from the actual burner stem and a number 12 uh, metric wrench will do that. Once you've removed all the burners you'll want to use a putty knife or something to clean off uh, the top surface of the uh, sealant in some cases, depending on the type of sealant, you might need to rub it out with a little bit of fine sandpaper as well. Once you've scraped off the uh, old sealant with a putty knife, you can just rub it out with a uh, sanding block, a fine sanding block, to get the rest of the uh, sealant off and to clean the surface of your burner. So we've actually uh, replaced all the uh, injector orifices. We're converting this to natural gas. We've hand tightened them in. Next thing you do is you put a sealant on the thread. Make sure you don't get any blocking the entryway. What we like to use, and this one's well used, is the uh, Red RTV high temperature gasket uh, maker. It, uh, I think, is good up to about 600 degrees. And the thing I really like about this sealant is it never hardens. It becomes rubbery. So that works perfect for this uh, feature. So once you get all those uh, coated with the sealant, and you want to make sure the sealant's going completely around uh, the thread, then you just simply install these one by one. And I find it's best to work in the back tighten it down by hand and then move on to the next one in the back tighten it down by hand and then uh, you can move up to the next row once you get the back row done you can start on the next row keep in mind that once you start open the sealant up and you begin to coat these uh, orifices that you got about a 20 minute set time so don't uh, waste too much time or take a phone call and forget but really the whole process that I'm showing you should be easy to do in 30 minutes or less from the time that you take the machine apart uh, to putting it back together. Once you get all of them uh, tightened by hand, and when you can't turn them anymore by hand, that's plenty tight enough, then you'll want to reinstall the uh, front cover. And the manufacturer says to wait 24 hours for that uh, sealant to completely cure and after that you're ready to roast.